How's it going guys? Ground here with another episode of Seals of the Bygone. <sighs> okay, so last episode we did the uh Aberlis and the Pyromancer. This time we're going to do a bit something different. The Exile and the Frost Guard. Or Frost Guard. We'll start with the Exile here. Exile is a straight physical character, so with that, okay, so with that means that I should go straight physical, right? Uh, so here's physical damage. Let's go. So the Exile is uh, interesting. It's a character with. Honestly, what I would say, strain with a recall mechanic of the weapon that they throw out, which are daggers. Very, very cool type of mechanic. And it reminds me of MOBA, of Mobile Legends character known as Gusion. Gusion has a recall mechanic with, with his daggers that once he's in the mouse, he he throws out his daggers and then he sends them out to return and they do damage. This character has a similar mechanic that's shown there. It's a very, very interesting ability. Where the hell is that crystal? I highly doubt I would have found a way to actually find that crystal. Now that I first made it about it. He does have an innate double jump, or they do. Which means that they have a lot of mobility. They're very quick too, now that I think about it. Which is nice. And they're very quick characters, means they're very easy to traverse with. And they're also one of my favorite characters. Purely just based off of the fact that they do remind me of a MOBA-like character. And I never thought of putting certain MOBA-like ideas into a roguelike game so well this character was shown and I was like oh or so I played the character and I was like oh well this works incredibly like this is a very unique way of you know using this particular archetype which is a recall a recall weapon kind of uh web slinging kind of character web slinging um weapon slinging kind of character Since I really don't have any place, any reason to be here for too long, I thought it was best for me to start going the right way. As you can tell, he has a lot of burst damage, which is really nice, although very vulnerable to long range weaponry. We have unlocked the Swordsman, and we've gained two levels. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm stupid. I'll make you use of this. Scrap it. For something better. And boom. Let's just go on to the next stage. Oops. 
that's where this game has been updated. Because it seems like the number of daggers that the Exile has has increased, and the upper limits of how many daggers it can have has increased as well. Like, significantly. God damn it. Crystals active. I need to find where the other two are. If I'm going to get any progress on addressing, yeah, items. There it is. is the damn thing. Where's that damn fourth chaos symbol? Oh, there it is. Okay. You know, if I had the opportunity, I personally would want to also uh, would also want to make a game like this. If not, actually be on a team where they are developing a game like this. Only because I fucking love this. Although I guess that's kind of the point of going into game design, huh? Is <laughs> so you can eventually get into that depth of development. Oh. Well, that's fun. I didn't know that dagger would still be following even after I reached them. But I guess that's what happens when you tell when you teleport while the dagger's moving. Just like usual. Wait, does that mean that 
Oh, you absolutely can. Oh, God. I hope this... I, like, I, I, I say this with a mix of, like, absolute horror. Like, I hope this character does not inspired off of fusion, because that means that this, that this character is completely ridiculous and on purpose. Because when Fusion is used properly by um, players, he's considered one of the freest characters in the game of Mobile Legends. And for good reason. The capacity of that character, the freedom of that character, and speed of that character is completely ridiculous and unfair. Okay, can I like please play the game and stop getting bombed? Like for a single moment. There it is. What's in here? Armor. You know, at a case from where I'm at, give me that armor. Bro, what is this? What is this? Bro, what is this? I have five seconds to kill you. Thank you for getting me out of here, because that was egregious. Oh. I will never get- I will never get that thing that's up top, most likely. I mean, I, he has a double jump, I guess, so maybe I can? No, I don't think I can. Okay. Okay, I gotta be more competent than this. Okay, but like, competence please. Okay, but competence, please. Oh my god, competence, please.
Oh my god. Why? Why was there so many bombers? Okay, I guess we'll go on to you now. You are a hybrid, actually. You know what? You are mostly powered by magic, though. So I'll go with magic damage. Oh, wait. Wrong character. I cringed at that so bad, to be honest there. Okay. This character's abilities are glorious. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Okay. I guess I'm just a slime's bitch, I guess. Jesus. Okay, well, I made that mistake. Jesus Christ. This is getting embarrassing again. Hi, please. Okay, that works. I guess. Ah, yes, of course. The thing where I take more damage, I gain more armor. Because I totally need that right now. Ah, yes. The other armor thing. I guess I'm built to be beaten. I guess I want to be beaten up today.
stage. Why is this here? I fully charge my banner. Interesting. It would be nice to know if there if there was a meter so I can actually see the you know how it does so instead of it just being a um, a range thing. obviously you can't always see the range of a banner if it goes outside your stream. I guess the general thing I'm saying is, I wish there was some kind of way to show that hey, this ban your banner has fully up has fully maxed out. You know, funny enough, I'm surprised I don't like Pyro as much as I, as much as I did well with it last night, uh, episode, because that was a very insane run. Oh. Awkward. Like, maybe I should play Pyro more. I like Pyromancer, obviously. Oh. Oh, okay. This does instantly that. Why am I thinking of that whole thing? Why is Russian Badger popping up in my mind right now? There's any Russian Badger content going through my mind, apparently. Whoa.
Jesus Christ, that shit hurts. Okay, but like... Already for Don Well was originally going to, originally going to save my ship for. That says a lot about my character right now. I'm literally just in the moment just playing the damn game, not even paying attention to the fact that I was trying to save up my gold. I guess I'll just wait until uh, the until the thing pulls me because I have no idea where to go for the uh, crystal right now. I've kind of forgotten where the main crystal is, or the main seal, I should say. I'm guessing it's the other way. I'm probably gonna get teleported there before I get there, though. Will I? It's the question. Will I be teleported? Well, I certainly will now. Yeah. Oh! 72. Oh! Uh. Hey, man. Come on, bro. The price is not just immune to all of my moves, right? Like just outright immune to it, and I'm just can I just lose right here and now? Like 
how fuck do you think I would have been because of that? Oh, that's. Oh, you. Okay. There's a lot. There was a lot of large chests in this stage. Confirmation we've gone in reverse.
Where is the mega crystal? Or the boss seal? That is what I wonder. Great music, but holy shit, that's a no and a half. goal when your armor takes damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Nope, come on, I can be doing it. Oh, come on. Ooh, there you are. Here's something I can trust. enemies. And that's the spot. Oh, never mind.
Well, Well, that's awkward. You know, this run is actually incredibly ridiculous, and this and this recording is going to be incredibly long, like consequence. That's not unfortunate, actually. Yeah, I don't person. I'm not personally complaining. I'm just saying, wow, this is not what I thought I was going to be doing today. Right after this, I'm supposed to get back on Mr. Rain at some point to do a uh, multiplayer uh, recording. And, huh? I have 
burning damage? Like he just paused there for a moment, I'm just like, is he gonna die? Like, did he just react so tremendously? Like, like, the realization that I didn't even take any damage or effect from, like, that shot didn't affect me at all, that he's just like, uh, okay, I guess I died then, and just gave up right then and there. Did he just know by just pure instincts? That he just was going to fail, not fail, but was going to die after that. I mean, just looking at him. Oh, that hurt like hell, why? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Well, that's cool. y'all enjoyed this video because holy shit did I fuck that up or maybe let's just say that's incredible that was incredibly difficult by that certain point
fucked up. I'm definitely gonna be uploading this to say SAP. I hope you'll enjoy. I hope y'all come again for another episode. We'll be playing this with quite a lot. Until then.